as they say on Top Gear, it's time for the news. It's May 2018. It's a little bit of news. So at the top of the list, I guess uh, we're in the microlight and hopefully we're recording audio for the first time properly. Otherwise I'll be doing this again and you won't see this, so there's no point in me saying that really. Uh, we are currently flying my XT912 to Gympie and then to... Like the wind that farmer grows down below us, there's got four little sheds and eight tents. Leave that to your imagination, eh? Big, maybe. So we're flying the XT912 down to, to Gympie and then on to Kabulcha for its new owner. Um, it sold a couple of days ago and this is a very convenient distance to be able to fly it and deliver it to the new owner. We have ourselves a runway. So um, this is the last flight for me and uh, goodbye to the XT912. Got a spot, a nice big white hanger. Doug does like to talk doesn't he but we're going to ignore him for the moment. I'll get back to him shortly and let him know what he's done. He'll probably say something stupid shortly. That's always fun. So anyway, um, so as part of that news, I guess losing an aircraft, another door opens, one door closes, one door opens. The new door opening, I've just heard, I can now confirm that a new aircraft is now shipping. Now I'll give you a clue and there will be a video very soon. Actually, Neil went there. Yeah, I'll answer you now. I've just done a video, but uh, I see the windsock down there on that runway. It's dead calm. Nice. I'm just descending down a bit lower too. Where are you now? Down the Bruce Highway further? Uh, west of the Bruce. Uh, about level with that runway and there's some hills just to the west, so I'm close to them. I'm just south of United. I'm over the Bruce Highway. Can't see you. I'm at 500 feet. Yeah, I think I'm in front of you, aren't I? You were, unless you turned around and did a circle or a yui or something. Yes, I'm heading towards the river, uh, just west of Curran. Alright, let me know if you see me. Um, Don't have to be wipers. So anyway, yeah, I've just had confirmation it's shipping. Um, it will be on a boat, in a container now and the ship leaves port in three days time and I can see Doug over there to my west now uh, yeah anyway distracted again so yeah exciting news there'll be a video about that announcement and some pictures of what the aircraft looks like uh, trying to get some more um, in the meantime before I produce that video so that you can see it and hopefully we get a video of the maiden flight it's brand new so um, pretty exciting and we're expecting to go and see it in the flesh for the first time around about the 24th of June so it's about six weeks away and even closer when you see this video so um, what else is in the news that's May I think I've been very busy at work oh here's one thing I lost all my YouTube work everything everything died uh, one hard drive I didn't have it backed up it wasn't a working hard drive like in terms of what I do for work so I didn't back it up and I thought oh you know it'll be right and it died um, gave up the ghost fortunately it looks like I'm recovering some of it most of what you've seen on YouTube is... yeah I've got your visual from due west of you over the river yeah, Doug, I've got you too. I've been watching you for a few minutes. No worries. I'll be uh, looking for the river and tracking south with you on it. Okay. I'm at uh, 60 knots. Sorry for the interruptions. And um, so we'll be looking at... Uh, well, I'm running a backup now. We're running a recovery. The recovery is actually restoring a lot of that missed video. But like I said, most of the video you're seeing on YouTube is uh, pretty much everything I've filmed. There are a few things I haven't put up there yet. But to lose all my flying video from 2012 until now, ouch, you know, that's irreplaceable, irreplaceable, completely irreplaceable. So let's hope the recovery does good things. I've got a couple more tricks. Um, 
Has anyone else experienced a data loss like this? This won't happen again, I hope. Um, I'm putting measures in place to ensure that we have duplicate copies of this drive now that it's becoming more important. There's a lot more flying video production. It's come to my attention quite abruptly that uh, it's irreplaceable, as I said, and um, I just can't bear the loss of it. So backups, man, just do it. You know, like another hard drive. It cost me $189 in Australia for a four terabyte drive, and that'll pretty much back up everything for five years. You know, is it worth it? Absolutely. If you value, if you can't bear the loss of video, do it. So the computer's running night and day at the moment, doing the recovery, running backups, everything's going to be duplicated. I won't go to the extreme of triplicating, probably famous last words yet again, eh? but um, yeah, bit of a loss. Well, I'm interested to see how much I get back. Um, what else is in the news? Is there anything else you want to know? So three things, eh? The three things. This aircraft's on the way to Caboolture right now. This is the last day I'll see it, unless I catch the new owner around. Hopefully I do, and we stay in touch. He's only an hour and a half down the road, or down the flying south from where I am. So that's pretty convenient. The new aircraft is on its way, and I shall see it in late June. There'll be an adventure to go and get it. Uh, the friend of mine who's flying with me today, Doug, we will be, he will be flying down, I will be driving down, that's the plan at the moment, with a, a couple of other people to enjoy the adventure, and I'll be flying back with Doug, and, and we'll be doing some joy flying around the different areas on the way back. Now this trip by air is a 1200 kilometre journey. I've done it before on my own, solo, so this time I'm fairly confident uh, that you know, I've done it before, I know what's involved, I can manage it now. Um, I'm familiar with a lot of the areas um, and how to navigate my way through and watch out for those hot zones with military airspace and all that sort of thing. Should be fun and that will be coming in mid-July, that video or series of videos, there'll be a number. So the new aircraft and the third thing was the data backup, what do you do, how do you manage it, have you had a data loss? That's the news for May at the moment. It's currently mid or early mid-May. If anything else happens between now and the end of May, I'll let you know. And that's basically everything I've got to tell you at the moment. Anyway, enjoy the view. We're about uh, 14, 15 nautical miles north of Gympie. So about 15 minutes before we land. And so we'll be soon there, landed, having a coffee, and then we'll be on route for Kabulcha to deliver the aircraft to its new owner. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Enjoy my videos. And if you're new around here, please subscribe. Help the channel to bring more videos. Sometimes, I tell you what, I feel like... It's very hard to reach out and get subscribers. It's just so hard. It just, you go two steps forward, one step back, and I'm not sure what everyone wants to see. And I'm trying to create new media. I'm trying to try, I'm trying different things. And now that I'm on camera, well, even though I've got a tinted visor right now, but the reveal has happened. I'm trying to create a personality. I hope that helps. Anyway, back to the program. We're nearly at Gympie and we'll catch you soon. Thanks for watching, eh? Bye. Well, there's four stops on the highway. All right, Doug, I've just recorded my news. Uh, your little interruption should be entertaining. That's all good. And I will, uh, yeah, I haven't monitored 1267 yet, so we might do that. And then um, I'll just follow you in. You can land first. I'd say we'll be using, uh, what is it, runway 32, eh? I was going to go in one four. Yeah, that's what I meant to say, my map's upside down, you're correct. Yeah, we'll land from the north to the south, correct. Straight in approach. Yeah, so uh, you can turn your radio off when you're doing your video. Yeah, I could, but uh, it's nice to have a bit of chatter in between and, uh, you know, it breaks up the... I was just doing May news, I was just bringing some little items of interest to my viewers as to um, 
what's happening in May and what's coming up in the near future. Something big's happening, isn't it? It is. Yeah, well, um, yeah, sorry for interrupting. No, you're right. You didn't know. I didn't tell you, and I just, I didn't mind. Your little interruptions are kind of entertaining anyway. Just looking at these campers here, I've got a fuel, fuel tank with them. Staying a while and doing a lot of boating. Traffic, my flight 6257, one mile final, runway 14, full stop, Yippee. 